What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and we have the biggest YouTuber yet to be hit with false DMCA claims over The Last of Us Part 2 and we also have a few other YouTubers who are taking a stand saying that they are ready to go to court to fight Sony and Naughty Dog for their abuse of the copyright system. So you can see right here the quartering. Jeremy from the quartering. By the way, my first video tomorrow, which is not going to be out for another hour or two, so I haven't seen that. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens there. Well, it will be addressing the nearly 30 DMCA claims Naughty Dog just hit me with. It's going to be a bloodbath. So 30, 30 DMCA claims on those videos. I assume that those are copyright claims, obviously not strikes because you can't survive 30 strikes but 30 claims from Sony and Naughty Dog. This is not stopping, guys. This continues on. They are not listening to the feedback. They are not listening to what's going on. All they want to do is silence people. And they're going about silencing people in a way that is clearly abusive. And we will get to that later. And in addition to that, you know, Corian also asked, I'm told Naughty Dog is still DMCA striking tweets. Have you seen people tweet about this? In these responses are a ton of examples of people getting their Twitters locked for simply sharing memes. That's all that they are doing, sharing memes, and they're getting their Twitter accounts locked. Uh, I'm not going to scroll through those because those do have those said memes. And, you know, since I am on two copyright strikes on this channel from these false DMCAs, I'm not going to take a chance and show them. But then we had a couple other things here. Just some guy. Team YouTube, explain this to me. Sony false flags my video. After two weeks of me contacting YouTube's legal team, Sony removes the claim. Then 15 hours later, Sony false flags the video again. How is that not abuse of YouTube's copyright claim policy? And when you really start to look at this, you see how messed up it really is. So they false copyright struck his video. He submitted the counter notification, all of that thing saying that he was going to fight it. The strike gets removed. The video goes back up. Then a couple hours later, Sony comes back and they claim that video and get it taken down. Not a strike this time, just a claim. But still, that video is not available and it, it cannot be monetized, obviously. One of the big keys here, and I think it's really brought out in Az's video, as his video that he did, these are very similar uh, situations between him and just some guy. Because what happened to As, he got a strike, it got removed, but he still has claims on this video. Two separate claims on the same video from Sony. So he submitted something saying, hey, I think that these were uh, claimed falsely. Sony went ahead and rejected those. Now, for him to file an appeal of that decision... They get 30 days before they actually have to file paperwork to take him to court. Same thing will happen to just some guy with that appeal process. So what they're trying to do is delay this. They're trying to keep these videos quiet for as long as they possibly can. 30 days from today takes us almost up to the release of The Last of Us Part 2. So that is very clearly what they are trying to do. And in the case of both of these videos, they are both manual claims. They both claim the entirety of the video. Only a small, very small portion has anything to do with any images associated to it or anything like that. In just some guy's case, it was a blurry image of the one that's famously of, you know, Abby standing there looking jacked with a golf club. And in Az's, and in Az's case, I believe it's a bounding into comics article that he was scrolling through. So uh, right there, these claims have no significance. And it reminds me of my two copyright strikes that I still have on my channel. You can see right here, The Last of Us Part 2 goes woke. Outrageous fans. Uh, that had 7,800 views before it got copyright claimed. And you can see right here that it was a manual claim. There is not even any timestamps associated with it. Just the entire video by Muso TNT. Now I have submitted my counter notification. The content owner who moved your video has 10 US business days to review your counter notification. If they don't provide proof of a court action, your video will be reinstated. So I'm eagerly awaiting this 10 to 14 technically business days. So that could be tomorrow or that could be next week sometime. 
Uh, I cannot wait till that happens. I am going to spread the word out there like wildfire because this video is going to go back up unless they do decide to take me to court. But these two people, like I said, as and just some guy um, are willing to go to court over this. Uh, just some guy is willing to go to court right now. He said so in this video. I would really recommend you guys check this out. Uh, Sony breaks the law again from just some guy. And then heel vs. Babyface as Sony wants me to be silent or take me to court over my Last of Us Part 2 leaks video. I highly recommend checking out both of those videos if you haven't already. Um, these guys are willing to take a stand and go and fight Sony in court, which I think is uh, pretty admirable and something that needs to be done. They, they, it needs to happen. Um, for these companies to stop abusing YouTube's copyright system. But also YouTube needs to get their shit together, clearly, in both of these cases. For As from Heel vs. Babyface and for Just Some Guy, it is abundantly clear that Sony is abusing the system in order to delay the inevitable. They want to get this extra 30 days to respond, so then they can just let the video go back up after 30 days and suffer very little ramifications from it. They want to do their best to silence everyone without actually using the legal process to go to court. And YouTube is just letting it happen. Now, two copyright claims and a strike on the same video for as, and then a copyright strike that gets dropped and then 15 hours later, a claim goes up for just some guy. It's absolute garbage. People keep calling out Team YouTube, but they continue to do nothing about it. You can see just some guy right here. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone from Team YouTube or YouTube or YouTube creators takes the misuse of your copyright tools seriously. A class action lawsuit may change your minds though. And it sure could. If enough people get involved in this, it sure could. Now, my specific case right now, like I said, I, I have those two copyright strikes. I did file both of my appeals, and I'll actually show you guys those right now. Um, there are a couple different dates. Uh, so the first one here um, was, let's see, May 7th. So May 7th on that one is when it got accepted, and May 4th on the other one. So like I said, 10 business days from May 4th and May 7th is when the earliest I can expect to hear back from these. I really want to hear back from these. I don't think that it's going to go any further. I don't think that I'm going to wake up one morning and Sony and Naughty Dog are going to file in federal court to take me there over copyright infringement because they know they don't have a leg to stand on. It's just blatant abuse. YouTube refuses to do anything about it, even though so many people have made noise. Really looking forward to seeing Jeremy from the Quarterings video about this situation because uh, he has over 700,000 subs. If he got 30 overnight, 30 claims overnight, that is absolute trash. And he is not one to take it lying down. He is going to sing it from the high heavens, exactly what is happening, and put the pressure on YouTube. And maybe more people will pick up this story. I kind of did expect it to get a little bit bigger and it's died down. But... Uh, now that that happened, we'll see if it ramps back up again. And especially, God forbid, if something were to, if I were to get a third false strike on my channel, my channel would, you know, go up in flames. I think you'd hear a lot about that too. But let's let's hope that doesn't happen. I don't want that to happen. I don't think it will, but it is a possibility. And since it is a possibility, I am going to put my backup channel in the pinned comment below and in the description. Please consider checking me out there. I put up old streams and things like that, but if this channel does get taken down, you can find me over there. But let, let me know what you guys think about all of this, the situation that is not going to stop. They are going to continue to silence criticism all the way up until June 19th, until The Last of Us Part Two actually comes out. Ah, oh, they are not learning their lesson. We'll see if they have to pay in a big way if any of these guys eventually do take Sony to court. Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my PO box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.